Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, February 13th, 2024. And this is Lisa Freeman coming to you live from stampingwithlisa.com. Welcome everybody. How's everybody doing tonight? I wanted to say hello because I haven't shown myself lately. So <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Come on in. How are you guys doing? I didn't have pajamas on today, so <laughs> I thought I'd actually say hello. So let me get my computer going and see who's on here. Hi, hi, hi. It's so exciting. <laughs> Usually I have no clothes. Well, I have clothes on, but I have pajamas on. So today I actually um, had regular clothes on, so I thought I would say hello. So come on in. Let me welcome everybody. Um, Uh-oh, I'm stuck on the chat. It somehow is... Oh, it paused it. Okay, let me see. All right. So hey, Claudia. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Marva. Hey, Pat. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Tony. Hey, Robin. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Diana. Hey, Marie. Hey, Reva. I think I got a card from you. I think so. I sure did. Yep. Um, hey, Karen. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Bill. I got a card from you, too. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Judith. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Mel. Hey, Pamela. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Leslie. Hey, everybody. All right. Come on in. Now we're getting a bunch of people on. Everybody's excited to see me. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys had a great day. We had, um, it was a pretty day, but dang, it was so windy. It was like, I don't know, 80 mile an hour winds. My garbage can blew over and um, just was a crazy day. I had a class this morning, which was a lot of fun. And um, we had a good stamp class. Uh, one of the projects I made I'll be doing for you next week because I wanted to have at least one um, card that was a surprise for everybody and not one that I did on my video. So the card that we're making today was created by my friend and Upline Faith, Clark, and um, it is gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. So we, um, she came over last week. I think I told you that on Saturday and we made um, some cards and this was one of her cards. Um, and she always makes gorgeous cards. So that's what we're making tonight. Oh, somebody got snow. Um, Utah in the screen. <laughs> Hello from Australia. Hey, Karen. Oh, thank you, Judy. Um, oh yes, Reva, it arrived on time. Yes, I got it, um, yesterday. Hey, Jude. I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, Laura. Oh, yeah, the contest. Oh, forgot. Okay, so if you were watching last time, I told you about a contest that I'm having. So um, I'm having a fun fold contest. So if you uh, want to join in the contest, all you have to do is create a card and use Stampin' Up! products. And um, it just has to be a fun fold card. So any kind of fun fold card that you want to do and um, just mail it to me and let me see here's my address this is my address if you want to take a screenshot so you can I hope that's going the right direction yeah it is okay <laughs> my phone is backwards <laughs> all right so send it to me and um, it just has to get here by the end of the month and then I'm going to pick three winners and give you some prizes and I will show all the cards um, during the videos for the next couple weeks. So I can't wait to see them. I'm looking for some fun, fun folds. So, um, oh, hey, Diane, first time watching. Well, hello. Howdy right back, cowgirl. Cowgirl? <laughs> Are you talking to me or somebody else? Oh, Vicky. <laughs> I thought you were talking to me, <laughs> calling me a cowgirl. Um, oh, Robin, you have your pajamas on. 
You just made six get well cards this afternoon. Thank you, Laura. I'm ready for spring. I'm like so sick of this weather. I'm ready for some warm weather. All right, so I do the cards have to be current Stampin' Up sets. I would rather that they do, you know, that they are current Stampin' Up. They don't have to be, but, um, you know, if, if I'm showing them on the video and somebody wants to buy it, it's just easier if they're current. So, you know, if somebody loves your card and they're like, oh, I want to make that card, it's better if it's something that they can get now. So that's that's the reason that I like it for like for it to be Stampin' Up. Um, I know other companies have really nice stamps too, but um, just don't use anything from Timu. <laughs> I know some of y'all get your bargains there, but <laughs> um, they're just knockoffs of Stampin' Up stuff. All right, uh, need to get dinner finished. You know what I had for dinner? Pumpkin bread, and it was delicious. <laughs> said I haven't bought ice cream so I've been really good I haven't bought ice cream in like uh two or about two weeks two or three weeks I'm, I'm on a dice cream a, a dice cream a diet it's not really diet I, I kind of am on a diet but I'm trying to get rid of ice cream and and sweets but I did make pumpkin bread and it was so good so that was my dinner all right so I'm gonna turn the camera down and try to do this without making y'all dizzy let me get my thing in the middle and hold on hit the button there we go all right that's always the hardest part is doing the flip to go down i found this on the web okay that's weird <laughs> i'm not sure why my why my phone just started talking <laughs> that was um siri that's weird i don't know why siri just talked <laughs> <laughs> that's very strange because <laughs> I didn't say the words you have to say um oh Nancy you have the Australian guy too yeah so my um Siri is Australian and uh he just has a sexy voice but I'm not sure why he just started talking to me that's really strange because I didn't say hey first usually I have to say hey and then It'll start talking. All right, so let me show you the cards that I got in the mail. Um, this one is from Twyla, and I actually got two from Twyla. So she sent me a Valentine one and a, here's the Valentine one. If I can get it out of the envelope. Ah, stuck. Okay, here's the Valentine one, which is beautiful, and I miss these hearts so much. I still have them because I love those hearts. So there you go. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. Love it. I love that ribbon too. Somebody's car alarm is going off in my street. And this is also from Twyla using my favorite color. I love purple. So thank you so much. You are so sweet. I got two cards in the same day. And then this one is from Reva. And this one is beautiful. I love it. And she used the shaving cream technique, which... I haven't done in forever, so I'm going to have to try that again. Last time I did it in a class was years ago. Isn't that cool? So that's like a fun fold card. Um, you could use that for your fun fold. Maybe I'll just keep that one for the contest because that's really cute. So it says, Happy Valentine's Day. I love that. Isn't that cute? So it's got a little um, like box in there to pop it up. That is really cute. Love it. And I love that shaving cream. Last time I did it in the class, it was such a mess. And it just got everywhere. So I haven't done it um, in a long time. But I'm going to have to watch a video. See if there's an easier way to do it. And this one is from Bill. Bill sent me a Valentine's Day card. And it's also a pop-up fun fold. Just the same kind. Isn't that cool? So you guys have the same idea. Love it. It's a gorgeous card. Thank you so much, Bill. Using my favorite colors. Purple and pretty peacock. Love it. So thank you so much. Then I got a gift and a card. So this is from Pam Hoggard. And it's also a fun fold. Like that. It's kind of um, 
almost like an easel card kind of, but it fl flips open like that. And then she sent me um, actually two cards and a gift. Well, this is just like a little note card. But she um, sent me this framed art, framed art, which yesterday it was pouring down rain. I mean, pouring down rain. So I had to work all day. I got home from work and this package was on the front porch. And I have a covered front porch, you know, that goes up the steps and then it's nice and covered. I have a bench on the front porch. Everything's nice. The mailman or UPS, whoever delivered it, I think it was the mailman. Instead of putting it on the porch, he puts it on the steps. So it was soaking wet. And luckily it didn't ruin it. But I was so mad because um, isn't that just beautiful? So it's that diamond painting. So she puts some on the lavender paper and did that diamond painting um, on top of it. So I thought that was beautiful. So thank you so much, Pam, for that beautiful gift. And thank you guys so much for all the beautiful cards. Love, love, love them. And you guys are going to be my Valentines because uh, um, I don't have anybody else. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, all right. So I've got cards to give away at the end. We've got a joke at the end. Um, this is the stamp. Uh, card kit for right now so you get these three um, cards in the mail well you got to make them I'll give you supplies to make them if your order is $50 or more and make sure you're using the host code I just had like eight orders this month so far that have not had the host code on them so please make sure you're using the host code and um, that's it for a $50 order if it's a hundred dollars or more you get a pack of gems also so one of these packs of gems and then you also get two free celebration things so one free celebration item for every fifty dollars you purchase except this one that we're using tonight the detailed dogwood that is with a hundred dollar order so um that is one of the really um nicer ones let me show you it in here so it is right here. So that's with the $100 order, detailed dogwood. So it's right in the very back. And it is so pretty. Love it, love it. And this one is also a $100 um, order free gift. So you get the stamp set and the embossing folder. And I have that one too. I haven't used it yet though. And then we also have the starter kit special. So if you wanna get a great deal, get the starter kit. And you get um, either $155 in product or $125 in product plus the free glass mat kit. Either one of those for $99 and free shipping. So that saves you another like $15 at least. So that's a great deal. And then um, also if your order is over $300, you get $66 in free product. So lots of great deals going on. We've only got less than two weeks left because today's the what, 13th? So, 29 days. We got 16 days left. All right, so tonight we're using these two stamp sets, and they go perfectly together. Perfect. So, I'm not sure what kind of flower this is, but it looks almost just like that one. So, they're going perfectly together. So, we're using this one, this one, this one, the dots, and the thinking of you. But I'm thinking about doing a collage kind of card maybe for um, my card kit. So on Saturday, it will be what? The 17th, I think, 16th, let's see, tomorrow's the 14th, 15th, 16th, what's tomorrow, Wednesday? It'll be the 17th. So um, I was gonna do a new card kit tonight, but it's too soon. So Saturday is the next video, we'll have a new card kit. And I'm thinking about doing these two sets as a one sheet wonder kind of thing. Um, and then we'll just have three, you'll have like three of them as a card kit. I don't know, I haven't really decided yet, but that's what I was thinking about doing. Um, kind of like a one sheet wonder, but we'll be doing three individual ones. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. And then maybe embossing them I don't know. I haven't really decided yet, but that's just an idea that I'm playing around with. All right, so this is what we're making, and this has a lot of pieces of paper. <laughs> so 
I think I told you guys. So, Faith, are we frozen? I hope not. So Stephanie just said, are we frozen? Oh, no. I hope we are not frozen. On my screen, it's not frozen. So, um, oh, Regina, you're so welcome. All right, Melanie says no. I say, I say no, because I can see it still clear. So hopefully it's not frozen. Um, oh, Mel, it's okay. I'm gonna call Stampin' Up! and just get the host codes added. You could, We can do 10 per month, but if I do like these tonight, then that's pretty much all of the ones I can do for the whole month, so. Um, your Valentines are always your kindergarten students, Sharon. That's funny. No, 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 no. Carol, it does not have to be a Valentine's card. No, the contest can be any kind of card, but just has to have fun fold. So any fun fold card, because um, Valentine's is over tomorrow, so we, we don't want to do Valentine's. Um, let's see. I got to go back and read these. Make sure. I know, and she did such a nice job on that shaving cream card. It's beautiful, and I don't know if you guys saw, it was all glittery, too. It looked like shimmery, like she sprayed it with shimmer spray. So, Reva, you'll have to tell me how you did it, if it was messy or not, because um, usually when I do a card, I am all about being simple. So, if it's too much work, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Um, I see some people doing videos and I'm like, I just look at it and say, that's a gorgeous car, but uh -uh, that's just too much work. Uh, I got to figure out an easy way to do it or I just won't make it. So if it takes more than like 10 or 15 minutes, I'm not doing it. Um, but now my upline Faith, she's a little bit of the opposite of me. So her cards are usually more involved and more steps, more stuff and a lot more pieces of paper. <laughs> I was cutting all these pieces. And I'm like, dang, this is eight pieces of paper we have to have. So I have the dimensions for you though. So it's five and a half by eight and a half pebbled path. And she was saying that she was gonna do this class in a card. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't wanna be cutting all this paper for everybody. <laughs> this will definitely not be a card kit. <laughs> card. <laughs> five and a half by three and a half petal pink. Five and a half by two and a half white. Um, five and a half by one inch pebbled path. Um, and here's the inside as these two pieces. So we've got, oops, five by three and three quarters white and five by one and a half petal pink. So this is the inside. If you want to take a screenshot of that. So there's the front and there's the inside. So, and then these right here are for the little words. This is just a half an inch strip. I think it's, I think it's two inches. Yeah, it's two inches. I didn't have a post-it that small. All right, so there's all the pieces you need and a scrap of white for the dragonfly. So the dragonfly, we're gonna stamp and cut that out. Um, oh, Robin, you like the detailed cards. Yeah, I love detailed cards, but I just, um, like if somebody else is cutting all the pieces, yeah, I'll do it. But I just don't like cutting all this piece, especially if I'm doing it for a class or a video. I don't like having to cut like a ton of pieces because then it's too much work. Where can you get shimmer spray? Um, Pam, if you go in the link down below the video, there um, in the description box, there's a link. Um, there's three different places. I like one place in particular. Um, and I can't think of the name of it. I want to say lolly something, something like a lollipop, but I can't think of what it's called. <laughs> um, if yours is frozen or blurry, just do the refresh button and, um, it should come back. Okay. Love these colors together. Thank you. Okay. All right. So let's get started. So this is really not a hard card, but it just has a lot of pieces and a lot of steps to it. All right. So let me see, where should we start? Let's start on the inside. 
So for the inside, we're going to start with this piece of white and we're just going to stamp this little sliver here. We're going to rip it first so you get that edge. And you could actually rip this in half if you wanted to and um, save half for one card, half for another card. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll have half for this card and then I can save this half for another card. All right, so we're going to stamp that with the petal pink. And I probably, actually, this is the last time I'm using this, so I'll just stamp right on here. All right, so we're just going to stamp right like this. So there's that. And then also over here in the corner, it doesn't have very much of a second generation stamp on there. Um, and then we're going to dip this in the ink pad. So I just want to kind of get a little bit of that on the edge. There we go. You can sponge this with a blending brush or something if you want to. It'll give you the same kind of look there. All right, so that's our inside, so that's easy. So we're done with that, we just gotta glue it down. Oops. Okay. And then just glue that, well, to the edge, or if you wanna leave a little bit of white, you can. Okay, there we go. So yesterday I had to work a double, tomorrow I have to work a double. It was so crazy busy at work, it's not even funny. And we were short-handed yesterday because one of the girls in the front office had pink eyes, so she had to go home and it was just two of us and oh my gosh, it's just crazy. So hopefully everybody will be there tomorrow. All right, so the inside's done. So now we're gonna do the front. All right, so what we're gonna do, let me see. We're gonna stamp this part. And, oops, we're gonna stamp this too. We gotta stamp those polka dots down here. So we'll do that first. And pretty much everything is gonna be in the Pebbled Path ink pad. So let's get this and just gotta hope it's straight because if it's not, I can't start over because I already glued the inside down. <laughs> All right, and this pretty much goes down the whole length. And hopefully I get it straight. There we go, pretty good. I'm gonna do one more just in case, but I don't think it's gonna show. I think only, yeah, it's probably not gonna show anyway, cause that'll be like right there. All right, so that's polka dots. All right, then next we're gonna rip this and uh, I just wanna rip a little bit off. And some of you guys that know don't like tearing, but it's so easy. I'm not sure why some people don't like it, but. All right, we're gonna dip this. Oops, I almost did the wrong thing. We need to dip it back in the petal pink. So we're just gonna go like that. And if you want to like distress it, you can with your fingernail or you can um, use the scissors. Just kind of lift up the edges a little bit like that. And then that's gonna go like right on the edge there. So you're just gonna see some of the polka dots. I probably should have done them just a little bit farther over, but that's okay. All right, so make sure this is kind of curled up. All right, and we're gonna glue that down. Pretty close to the edge, because you just want to see a little bit of those polka dots showing like that. Okay. All right, so there's that edge. All right, now we're gonna stamp um, this piece and the white piece with the big flower. So this is our big dogwood. And we're gonna do it um, kind of 
below halfway because you want to have room for your your um, dragonfly up at the top. So about right there. Perfect. Oh, that came out really dark. Um, then we're going to do it on here. So, uh, just stamp that. That's so funny. I don't remember this pad being this juicy the other day. Maybe it dries lighter. All right, so that's our little strip that's going to go on the front. We're going to be coloring this with the um, Stampin' Blends. All right, then... much junk in my box here. All right, we've got a scrap piece of paper. We're going to stamp the dragonfly and cut him out, him or her. Okay, so there's the dragonfly. We're going to let that dry for a minute. Then, and you can do one of those on the inside too if you want to. Um, let's see. All right, so this one goes on this piece, but you want to stamp it off because you want it really light on here. So just stamp it off. There you go. So that's good. I kind of want some in that corner though. There we go. All right. That's kind of dark, but that's okay. Make sure you stamp it off. All right. And then thinking of you goes on here. Hopefully I'll get this straight. I brought extras just in case, but I can't see the paper. Oh, that's kind of crooked. Turn it over. Let's still crook it. All right, hold on. I got another piece somewhere. Okay, let's try it one more time. <laughs> All right. Come on straight. All right, well, that's going to have to do. I give up. <laughs> All right, so then, uh, let's see, are we done with this color? I think so. All right, so we're gonna get the petal pink out one more time to do the edge of the words. And we're just gonna dip that. All right, throw this one away, wait a minute. Yeah, that's the crooked one. All right, throw that one away. I was looking for something in my cabinet earlier, and so I started pulling stuff out. I found things in there. Now, I've only lived in this house for three years. No, four years. Not quite four years. And I started pulling stuff out, and I found stuff from 2020 and 2021, and I'm like, okay, I know I have cleaned out stuff since then. I don't know why I have so much junk everywhere. All right, so we're going to color with our Stampin' Blends. So I have the light and the dark petal pink. And let me see, let me start with the light one. And read comments before I get started. Um, oh, Sharon says, give me easy peasy, yep. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, you love to cut paper and prep for stamping, but you don't like gluing them together. I don't mind gluing them. That's the easy part. Cutting all the pieces is hard, especially if you have a big, a big amount of people to cut for. Um, yeah, you can buy scissors that make fancy edges. I remember when I first started stamping, I had these deckle scissors and everything I, I stamped, I did the deckled scissors around them. It was so crooked and <laughs> I used to think it was the coolest thing. I love tearing paper though. I think it looks so pretty. Um, you know what this reminds me of? Did any of y'all have the paper? Um, it was a stamp set and paper. Oh, prized peony. Prized peony stamp set and the paper that went with it. That was these two colors, the gray and the um, petal pink. That's where, because um, her card, Faith's card was actually soft suede, which we don't have anymore, but she used soft suede and the petal pink, and it was really pretty. Um, but I did it with the gray. The stamp, it's cut out, is retired. I thought I might as well, what? Does Dragonfly Punch cut out? Oh, you know what? I don't know. I cut it out. Um, 
Do we even have the dragonfly punch anymore? I don't think we still have the dragonfly punch. I don't know. I'm not sure. All right, so what I'm gonna do, um, we're leaving the leaves plain. We're just gonna color the flowers. I'm gonna just color it in. Most of it, I'm gonna leave a little bit of white in there, but just color most of it um, with the light. Then I'm gonna go back with the dark. So I'm not even trying to be like really good about it. All right, so there you go. And then we're gonna take the dark one and I'm gonna use the, the bullet tip and just put some little highlights in there. Now I'm not one of those really fancy colorers that does all the shading and all that stuff because I'm not very good at that. So um, I'm just gonna color that in dark. So I just kind of do it really fast and the good thing is it still looks good. It's hard to make an ugly coloring with these stamping blends, I'm telling you. They just blend so nicely and look how pretty that comes out. And if you want to blend it around a little bit more, you can. But I think it looks pretty good like that. And it always dries lighter than it looks when you first do it. And if you mess up, we always have that color corrector or color lifter um, that will take off some color for you. All right, and then I'm going to take the Wink of Stella and I'm just going to color some Wink of Stella on here and make it all sparkly. Oh! just blobbed out of there. Okay, hold on. I need a scrap paper. Ah! Hold on. Let me rip off something. Somehow it just came out really fast. Oh my goodness. Okay. I don't know why. It's like leaking a little bit. Alright. Oh. All right, let me see if I got another one here. For some reason, it's kind of leaking. Let's see if I got a better one. Okay, this one's working better. All right, so just give some sparkle to all of those. So then, hopefully you can see that sparkle on there. Oh, probably because I spilled a bunch on here. I know you probably can't see it, but it's so pretty in person. All right, there we go. All right, then what we're gonna do is cut out this um, dragonfly. And Faith is like the world's best fussy cutter I've ever seen. She does such a great job. So if she was here, I would make her cut it, but <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Just remember the tip that I told you, the best tip about fussy cutting is keep your right hand or your cutting hand pretty much straight and just turn the paper with your other hand. So I'm just going to leave a teeny bit of white edge on here. And and my right hand really does not move too much except to kind of lift the scissors back and forth. But there you go. All right, we'll save that little scrap. All right, so then what we did was um, she took the crumb cake pad and just put a little bit in the lid and then take that Wink of Stella and color the edge. And I probably will just do this down here. Color the edge with crumb cake and Wink of Stella. And that just gives it a nice little outline there. So you can see it. Because if you just did Wink of Stella, it wouldn't show up. But if you add a little bit of crumb cake on there, it does. 
And this is a, a good tip if you ever want to color with Winka Stella. It just makes it shiny and gives it some color. And all you have to do is just squeeze your lid together with your ink pad. And I'll put that ink right in the lid like that. Or you can just blot, blot some on a little block and do it that way too. Okay. Make sure you get his head and his body too. Make them all shiny. All right, so there you go. So there's your dragonfly that's colored with the Wink of Stella and the crumb cake. So see how pretty that comes out? Not pretty. Let's do a little bit more right here to make his wings look kind of like they're coming in. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So then we're just going to put everything together. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to dip this piece in the gray. So let's do that. Do you guys dip now? To dip your um, edges in the ink pads? I love it. It's like my favorite thing to do. <laughs> I do it on like every card now. All right, so to put this together, here's what we're gonna do. So this piece goes down here like that. This piece goes over the edge like that. So you're gonna have, I'm gonna do this one first. So then you'll see how much room you got. And this is a one inch strip that just goes right down the edge like that. And then you just want to center this one kind of between the two edges there. It looks like I got a sliver too much on here, but we can cut that. All right, so that's just going to go right here. I'm going to trim that at the bottom because it's a little bit too long. There we go. And then we're gonna put this one straight down on top of that. And it just goes flush even with it. So this card isn't as hard as I thought it would be. <laughs> it just seemed a little more complicated when I did it the first time. But we were kind of cutting as we were going. It's easier when you got all the pieces already cut. All right, and then thank you. We could pop this up if you want to, but I'm just gonna leave it flat like that. All right, and then we're gonna put um, glue dots on the back of the dragonfly. Oh, look, I got a double. It's like getting a double yolk <laughs> when you're doing eggs. You ever get a double yoker? All right, put that on, oops. So the wings kind of pop up a little bit. Like that. All right, and then we're gonna put some gems on here. So I've got some rhinestones, and if you wanted to, you could color these rhinestones. It doesn't really show up too much with the um, petal pink color, but you can, you can kind of tell a difference if you just Put a little bit of color on there. It's just very subtle, but if you're using a darker color of Stampin' Blends, you can color any color you want on these rhinestones. You can barely tell, but if I'd used another color, you would to, you would be able to see it. All right, so we're gonna stick them in the middle of the flowers. And then one up here, 
And I think, um, I think I should put one on the dragonfly. What do you guys think? One on the dragonfly or no? Let's see. I like it. Okay, I like it like that. So then I have an uneven number, but that's okay. All right, so there we go. And then we're going to spray it with some shimmer spray. So let me get my shimmer spray. Love it. Can you see it? It's so beautiful. Okay, so there we go. That one is so funny. I used the exact same ink pad, but that one came out darker. Put more, more shimmer on it. All right, so there are the cards. Beautiful. Love it, love it. Let me read some comments. Then I'm going to do the joke. Never had a double glue dot. I know, me either. Thanks, Nancy. Thank you, Cindy. You're going to copy it. Always watch the replay again because there's always something I miss. Got a double yolk a couple times. I know I used to get, when I used to buy extra large eggs, I got a lot of double yolks, but I, I buy just regular large now. Oh, thanks, Karen. Hey, Ava. Um, yes, on the dragonfly. I know I do like that better on there than just plain. What days and times do I go live? Tuesday nights at seven and Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. Shimmer, shimmer, gorgeous. Just got this set, can't wait to play with it. Hey, BJ. Hey, Joan. Thanks, Pam. Thanks, Diana. Thanks, Jody. Uh, oh, Karen, I changed it to Saturday mornings at 10. I know that's kind of early for some of you guys. <laughs> Claudia, now see, I love doing laundry. I don't know why. That's like the only household chore I really like to do is laundry. Thank you. Um, Diane, I am Eastern on the East Coast in Virginia, Chesapeake, Virginia. All right, you ready for a joke? I've got, I've got two jokes tonight. Um, I know, Mel, Saturday date night. I should do Saturday date night because I still don't do anything on Saturday night. <laughs> Except to go to bed early. <laughs> All right, got two jokes. Here's the first one. This is a Super Bowl one I put on my um, Facebook page. So if you're friends with me on Facebook, you've already seen it, but it's a really funny one. All right, blonde at the Super Bowl. Um, I think this is just hysterical. A guy took his blonde girlfriend to the Super Bowl game. They had great seats right behind their team's bench. After the game, he asked her how she liked it. Oh, I really liked it, she replied, especially the tight pants and all the big muscles. But I just couldn't understand why they were killing each other over 25 cents. Dumbfounded, her boyfriend asked, what do you mean? Well, they flipped a coin, one team got it, and then for the rest of the game, all they kept screaming was, get the quarterback, get the quarterback. I'm like, hello, it's only 25 cents. <laughs> all right, so that's the first joke. And I, probably you guys have heard that one because it's so funny. All right, this is a real quick, quick one. A doctor and a taxi driver are both in love with the same beautiful woman named Helen. The taxi driver had to go on a long trip that would last a week. Before he left, he gave Helen seven apples. Why do you think he did that? Oh, this is like a riddle. Anybody know? <laughs> Let's see if you guys get it. I'm blonde too. <laughs> Anybody know the answer? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> exactly. All right. So I've got some cards to give away. And I've already pre-selected people from the comments of last video. So, and then I've got a few, these have not been claimed yet. So these were from last time. So if you see your name, you're gonna email me, stampgirl2 at cox.net, and I will send you your card. So these are the ones that are from last time, and this is the last time I'm gonna show them. So if they don't get claimed, I'm gonna re-gift re them again. All right, so here's the ones for today. So I've got, let me see. Oops, here's one more. Ruth Vickers. 
So you haven't gotten yours either. So four cards that have not been claimed yet. All right, so I got five cards for today. All right, and here are the pre-selected winners. All right, number one, I have Marsha Murphy. Um, two, I have Myra Kerger. Three, I have Paula Newman. Um, this one I have Kitty Williams, and this one is Julie Bertsloff. I guess that's how you say it. All right, I've already got winners for the next time, too. So I'll do some more cards next time. So these are the winners for today. So make sure you guys leave comments. So I'll pick comments from either the live. I can go back on the live or the comments in the other um, after the video section. Oh, there's my email. So make sure you send me your address. And then also these people, Ruth, Vickers, Linda Lewis, Lisa Bates, and Cindy Nielsen. Make sure you guys send me your address. So that is nine people who need to send me their address. So the rest of you guys, your cards are um, in the mail already if your name was selected. Um, and there you go. All right, you guys. So... Next time will be Saturday at 10 a.m. And I will have um, a new card kit for you. And um, I will be cutting the other card kits, these card kits. So this is your last chance to get this card kit if you liked this fun fold one. This is a nice one. So you can get these right now until the 15th. And then starting on Friday, we'll have uh, those orders. We'll get the new kit, which I don't know what it's going to be yet, but um, might be something with this again. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see what I come up with on Thursday. Because so I got to work all day tomorrow, so I won't be stamping tomorrow. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm so glad you were here. Oh, don't forget to do thumbs up and like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff for me. Um, you guys are awesome. And I will see you soon. Don't forget about the card contest too. So if you want to join the card contest, um, make sure you send me your card in the mail. Here's my address again um, for the contest. It has to be a fun fold using Stampin' Up! products. Those are the only two stipulations. Okay. All right, you guys. I'll see you on Saturday. Have a great week. Bye-bye.